What's up guys, I'm back so I can have a laugh in this video. We are going to be talking about the top stocks to buy right now. Now these companies have a massive catalyst coming up pretty soon. We're gonna go over exactly what is the ideal price point to get involved in this company and what is the potential price target in the short term and i'm also going to go over what happened to this stock market today and what are some important economic reports that can significantly shift this stock market in this upcoming day so i'm going to cover all this important information coming up now before we get into the video i appreciate if you hit the like button if you have any questions any comments make sure you drop in the comment section below and check out all the links in the description box to get free Bitcoin free stocks and etc. So the first company that we are going to be talking about is going to be SoFi. Now SoFi is going to be doing a SPAC merger with IPOE and they are going to be going public pretty soon. But today they announced that they're going to be acquiring a bank which is going to be massive for this company moving forward. So we're going to be listening to exactly what the deal is and how this can significantly help SoFi to grow in the future but as you can see the stock has sold off and right now is sitting at a 15 above 15 dollars support area we talked about it this company in the past you know it has definitely great potential not only with the short-term catalyst of the merger going through but also for the future this is one of the companies that can definitely be like square that's going to be trading above you know 50 to 100 dollars in the near future even potentially go to about 200 dollars in the future because this is a company that is looking forward to expand and it's very futuristic in a way. So when you look at exactly the price action, of course, the ideal price point to get involved in when we talked about it last time was around $18. And we had a significant sell off that happened that covered that covered the entire high growth stocks. You know, we had a massive dip, not only for these SPAC companies, you know, we had a significant sell off for companies like Apple, Microsoft, Amazon. You know, today they're recovering pretty good. But of course, IPOE is also sitting at a very fantastic price point to get involved in it right now. So it's only up 8%, but we're going to go over and listen to exactly what this massive deal that they're going to be doing, acquiring a bank, how they can help them in the future. By watching this video, I'm going to come back and we're going to go over the other companies that I'm going to be talking about. So let's check out this video. On the deal put SoFi on a fast track to expand its banking business, the fintech company plans to buy Golden Pacific Bancor, that's a small community lender in California, for about $22 million. This is all part of SoFi's plan to bring banking services in-house. So instead of using a third party, they want to be the ones holding customer deposits and issuing loans. SoFi had already applied for a national bank charter, but now instead of applying to be a brand new bank, it will apply to be a bank holding company. A few reasons to do this. For one, it's a lot cheaper. CEO Anthony Noto telling CNBC this morning that the move could save them as much as $300 million. And SoFi is not the only fintech company looking to cut costs. Lending Club was really the trailblazer here, buying Radius Bank last year. Vero Money was approved for its own charter, and Squares Bank officially launched last week. If the trend continues, though, analysts tell me that it could be bad news for those small community banks that have been handling the customer deposits for fintechs so far. And remember, SoFi announced in January it was merging with a SPAC run by Chamath Palihapitiya. That deal is expected to close in a couple weeks, but take a look at shares of that blank check company today. It's been up as much as 16% today. John, back to you. So the short-term price target for this company, of course, is going to be the 52-week high of around $28 and everything recovers. And if there's more catalysts coming up pretty soon, you never know what can happen for the overall stock market in the near future. But we have the stimulus package that is going to be passed pretty soon. Of course, they're, gonna be, they're supposed to have the voting today, but they scheduled it for tomorrow. But I'm going to be covering more information about that later on. But we can definitely see a price target of $28 and we expect this stock to be trading higher in the long term if you decide to not only just speculate in the short term but to hold this company for the future. So the other company that we are going to be talking about that has massive catalyst coming up pretty soon is going to be Palantir. So Palantir announced that they have a demo event on April 14th 
2021. So we know exactly what happened to the previous demo day. We talked about it. We traded it. It was a fantastic swing trading opportunity. The stock broke to all time highs in spite of the demo day catalyst. But when you look at exactly what to expect for this demo day, what kind of price action to look forward for Palantir stock, it's currently sitting at 24, around $24 area. And we expect the stock to be recovering pretty soon because we have this massive you know sell off that happened to the high growth companies you know this is also one of the company that definitely took a beating and it's sitting at around 24 dollars at one point it was getting close to 20 dollars it has a very well base around 22 to 24 dollars so if it can stay above this area and we see some reversal happening if we see continuation of this stock market to recover especially for the high growth sector we might see a potential pop before April 14 for this company. So we might see Palantir going back to $30. And as we go approach the demo day, you know, we might see a potential spike to $40, you know. So that's going to be the potential trade for this company in the short term, in spite of what's happening and what's the catalyst that they have coming up pretty soon. So definitely keep in mind if you want to participate in the short term. But I know a lot of people got involved in this company way initially when we talked about it at around $10 and $9 area. So, so definitely keep an eye for Palantir stock at the current price point levels. So the other and the last company that we're going to be talking about is going to be Nano Dimensions. Now, as you can see over here, we have Nano Dimension sitting at below $10 and today it's up 19%. No, it had a significant sell off. It was sitting at around $17 and it went all the way, pulled back all the way to close to $5 at one point. But right now we started to recover. So if this recovery continues, it is definitely a steal to get involved in this company at $10. So definitely keep an eye on Nano Dimension stock and how the momentum shifts when it comes to this high growth companies for the future. Now, when you look at exactly what happened to the stock market today, we had a very fantastic bounce for companies like Tesla, which is up 19%. At one point, it was getting close to $700. We also have Apple stock, which is up 4%, Microsoft, Google, Facebook, semiconductor stocks that have been beaten down significantly. They recovered and we have the big companies that were leading the way for the month of March and February. They had a slight pullback. You know, they're down, you know, 1%, 2%. Now, these are the value stocks that have been leading the way for the past few months. So we have energy stocks also that is down, you know, 1%, you know, recovery stocks that are down a little bit. So these are the stocks that can definitely benefit, of course, if there's going to be stimulus package past the recovery stocks, the airlines, they're going to get a, a share of the stimulus money. So definitely keep in mind that, but the whole stock market is definitely going to be liking if this stimulus package gets passed tomorrow and a lot of people get the $1,400 checks. And of course, the majority of the people that especially like to invest, they're definitely going to be flooding that money into the stock market. But for tomorrow, we have some important economic reports we need to be watching out for Wednesday, March 10. We have the 8.30 a.m. We have the consumer price index. We have the core CPI and the federal budget at 2 p.m. So definitely watch out for this important economic report. So definitely manage your risk because stocks are moving up and down a lot. You know, we have Tesla stock just even today, it's up 19%. You know, a few days ago it was down, you know, 20%. So stocks are making big, big moves. So make sure you be careful. And if you have any questions, any comments, make sure you drop in the comments section below. And if you want to join the Patreon page or get free stocks through Bitcoin, check out the links in the description box. But I catch you guys on another video for tomorrow. Have a wonderful day. Mm -hmm.